At this point, we can go ahead and we can pop out all these sticks of wood here, and we can make a covering frame for our flying surfaces. So what you're going to do, slide this aside, and cap this guy off. Try to get these ends squared up as much as possible. And that was no good. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side here. I think I just broke those glue joints. Yep. Exactly what I did. Alright, so we're going to come back over here and we're going to break this piece up into four little pieces. Sizing does not have to be exact because all you're using these to do is come in here and guess it in the corners. This way you don't have it break up again like what I had a minute ago. And now you have covering frame. So, we'll set that aside. We'll come back to it when we're ready to cover the airplane. Alright, um, here is our covering frame that you've built out. You're going to take petroleum jelly. And... In the absence of that, lip balm will also work. Yes. Chapstick, whatever you call it. Get some on a paper towel, and then... And by the way, notice she's putting it on the side that the little corner braces are not on. Yes. And put it on nice and thick so that there's plenty of adhesion surface. Don't worry about that. Well, I was on that. Um, the OCD is kicking in. No, you told me not to get it on the table. <laughs>
thought I did. And that's called set the frame someplace else when you're done. Here, I'll take it. Yeah, it's very important. Actually, we're going to take a break now so she can go wash her hands. Alright, take her covering. And by the way, we should mention this is a full roll of covering, not like what you've got in the kit. Hold on a second, we've got some of this sticking to wet spot in there. Just do it by hand. Oh, okay. I'll get you a paintbrush in a minute. So you're just going to take it and kind of crinkle it all up. Wad it up in a ball. Just wad it up in a ball. And the main reason is, is this to make it so it doesn't stick to itself? Yeah. It right. um, basically causes it to become statically charged all together so it um, um, will stick to the, the table surface. I'll back that out for you. And then just take a clean paintbrush and just get all the air bubbles out. Hang on a second, I'll get you some of that. sticky. There you go. Yeah, so you're going to want to make sure that you do this on a clean surface. Um, Another thing you can do is just come over here and go get yeah. the air out from underneath it. Yeah, like she said, a uh, clean table surface is the most important thing. And make sure it's a clean brush that it's not You don't want to use a brush that you just, you know, epoxied something or... You don't want any glue residue in it or anything. Yes. Because um, it will tear the film. That looks good. Okay. Uh, I'll get the camera in for you. Okay. And you want to get this off in a little corner or something so you don't waste too much film. So you're going to set the... And I should, before you set that down, we should mention that uh, the film in your kit is probably going to be wide enough that you can rotate this across this way. Um, we're using some remnants of a, a different covering, so we have to go lengthwise like this. Yeah. You're going to set the side that you put the Vaseline on down. On there. And just... Rub it. And the main reason why you want to use the Vaseline and the chapstick um, is just so just very gently squirt. That way, if you need to pick it up and reposition re it, it can easily come up. You don't press down real hard. In this part, you want to use a brand new razor blade, and all that she is doing is just gently scoring along there, and you can see it is tearing a little bit. Um, that's just the nature of the beast. Try to limit it. Just do the best you can in that one. Try the other corner of that blade, see if it's any better. Sometimes they have a burn or something. Alright, I got it. And just gently lift it. And 
here we can just kind of pull this in a little bit. You do want a little bit of slack in it, just to... Yeah, the main thing is have it equally tensioned all the way across. Yeah. And if you can't tell, I am really OCD about this. I don't know why your coverings come out just as good as mine do. If not better. So, yeah, you want to just make sure that it's a little bit loose, you know, just kind of a little loose, but not so tight that it's, you know... Um, that way, you don't want it to warp the structure when you're yeah. done. And since this is part of my personal supply, I'm going to be OCD about getting it rolled up just right. Uh, one of the things you want to be very careful of is keep tape away from this stuff because tape does destroy film. Um, if you do tape this, use um, scotch tape because in the event of an accident you can soak it with acetone and it'll just dissolve. Alright, so we'll be back in a minute when we are done um, spraying this. Alright, um, this is the, the tips. So then you just come back and cut everything so they're flush. And off camera, I've made, oops, I've made three more, so that way we have the four tip rudders like we need. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to now go and spray these with spray adhesive. The main thing is you want to make sure that you take two of these tip plates like so, and flip the other two uh, over the other way, so you get covering on opposite sides of those. Um, yeah. Is one. This is the spray that we used, um, the 3M Super 77 spray right. glue. Hold on. Now you can see whether you're in frame. There we go. And uh, I mean, you want to you want to mist this enough that it gets covered, but you don't want you know big lops of glue everywhere. Yep. So we're gonna go out on the porch and show you how that's done. All right. All right. You're just gonna kind of hold your wing straight up and down. Um, spray it out that way first, away from the wing, to because that nozzle's dirty, honey. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hold it far, far away from it. There you go. And then at this point, you can go in and you can check and make sure. So, like, there's no none up there on that rib on the outside. Those are those are the areas that always get me. And that's hold it farther away, honey. All right, and let me check down here. Yep, that's good. So. That's a little on the heavy side. She doesn't want it to come off, and I want it to be minimum weight, but, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. So we've got everything sprayed. You'll notice you've got two wingtips off to the side because the covering frame that we built this time, we're, we're reusing another one, um, so it's a little small. What you'll have in the kit will not have this problem. All right, so you're going to take your covering frame. And then you can gently and yeah, there you go. You're good. lower it down, making sure that you have everything in that frame. And it's very important you here use a brush since your hands are all sticky. And then gently come back and just you basically just want to make sure that everything is sticking down to 
to the covering. And by the way, notice when she lowered this down, she just lowered it straight down, didn't wiggle it around or anything. Um, the moment that the film contacts those uh, adhesive covered frames, it's it's kind of there to stay, so you want to get it right the first time. Yeah, once you use that spray glue and you stick it down there, you're stuck. It is possible to remove the covering from the, the structure, but usually you'll ruin the covering in the process. So. Um, and the way to remove it is uh, either naphtha or xylene. Um, both of those uh, solvents work really, really well in thinning uh, the 3M77. it up just to make sure everything is free. This is where the little... Yeah, I will do it from that side. And we'll cut out... How about cut out the wing on the camera and we'll do the rest off camera. Okay. This is... Um, so we're using a 30 watt soldering iron here. You want to stay uh, as far away from the surface as possible and let it uh, the heat just kind of suck the uh, covering back um, back there um, so I, 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 I'm incorrect in saying as far away about a quarter of an inch away and that lets the excess covering kind of come back on it um, the best thing to use is a battery powered uh, cautery uh, you can get those at um, I know you can get them off of Amazon. I don't know where else you can get them off of. And I should also note, don't use your good soldering iron for this if you use a soldering iron because this one's pretty much use, useless for actual soldering now because of all the uh, uh, plastic that's stuck on it. Take this so you can show off the wing to him. Okay. And there it is, covered. Um, I think you're out of. Yeah, you're out. There Sorry. You go. <laughs> there it is, covered. Right. And one thing I will mention: there's a little bit of excess along here, so you can just afterwards come back with the soldering iron, and just the heat from it will shrink it down, like so. Yeah. Um, and you got some on the bottom, so we'll just... There we go. The important thing is to keep all that on the, on the outside of the frame, because if you get it on the inside, you'll tighten up that film, because it does heat shrink pretty strongly. Alright, we'll be back when the, the rest of it's out.